Dan Bewley off the inside in the red helmet colour. Gate number two in blue is Martin Vashley. Big ride needed for Martin Vashley. Mads Hansen out of gate number three in white and Max Flick off the outside. Also searching for a couple of points here as well, the Australian. Big race this year, but Martin Vashley can ill afford to slip up here when you consider Smarslik not in the meeting. Here we go. Tapes are up, roaring to the first corner. Bewley's made an absolute superb start there. Martin Vasilik running high and wide in the first corner. Up the inside, yeah, just about hangs on to it. Super effort there for Martin Vasilik, but he's very vulnerable. Now Hudson, once again, terrific performance from him, and Max Frick has come through. That's disaster. Martin Vasilik's off. Yeah, he's gone down. Got himself in a real pickle going into turn one. He pulls the bike away. The race will continue. But oh, Jack, oh Max my Frick goodness, is gone. Frick's now gone down. What on earth is going on? Conditions just catching everybody out. Lights are on. Max Frick Reason just uh, strewn there. So uh, track is very greasy. And it's catching the best riders in the world out tonight. And um, uh, Martin Veselik, well, he came down earlier on. That's not what he needed. With Jack Holder going so well, he could slip out of the top three tonight. You know. Not only is uh, Bartosz Smarslik not here, but it's just not working out for him. Clear frustration there with Martin. And Max Frick, who had battled his way back into the night, a disappointing moment for him as well. But uh, we've seen Andre Lebedev's come down there, clearly very greasy out there on turn number three. Gee, I think Max Frick could stay in the top eight. But, uh, yeah, taking a look at it again here now, we can see Dan Bewley clearly out in front, Martin Vashluk at the back, never settled into the race, looked uncomfortable the whole time. Here now, Max Frick, same lap, inexplicably. I mean, Max doesn't make mistakes. He's a solid, good rider, and uh, I, I really don't understand quite how that's happened. Well, the track the, surface, uh, first. Well, track yeah, surface it's, is it's wrong. certainly catching them out. Yeah, it's cold out there, they've put water on, it's greasy, and it's catching the riders out. They are finding it awfully difficult to uh, find a setup. Look at that. It's a spinning round. error, but you know, it, like, it just happened on him. It just turned around so quickly. Exactly that. He's come in there, hasn't done anything different. No. But the bikes, look at the back tyre. No chance at all. He's in reverse there. He doesn't make mistakes like that. You've got to say, that's that's uh, most inexplicable. So just a rerun with two here with uh, Max Frick and Martin Vasilik excluded from heat number 18. I don't like to see that, actually, where riders really struggling to cope with conditions. It's been a lovely day, so no, there's not, no not real yet, excuse for it, but um, nonetheless, that is what uh, okay? has been presented to riders. As I say, Max Hansen uh, here just you know is having a terrific night, Benjamin and he will Basel go through to the semi-final. Okay second place almost race, guaranteed so here for him. What a night he's enjoying. Wasn't expecting to be so busy, but um, with all the drama that went on before the evening, you've got to say that... Um, uh, and there, Benjamin Basso, who uh, I thought was out of the meeting, looks like he's prepared to ride yeah, in heat mind. number 20. So it must have been a change of heart there. He'll come in for Jason Doyle in heat number 20. But we're still at heat 18. So, um, OK, I'm uh, putting on the two minutes now, OK, in about five, ten seconds. So, uh, Matt Hansen, there'll just be effectively a match race here. Bewley, who was away. Bewley's had a few okay, restarts tonight, hasn't minutes, he, in please. his races. Mm. Two minutes, to guys! Show great composure. Oh, but he's so heavy. So two minutes on. Two minutes. Two minutes to be up at tapes. Bewley uh, remaining uh, calm and collected. Going along very nicely indeed. Uh, Max Frick could stay in the top eight, but it is all going to depend on results of Heat 19. OK, so the two race wins could come to his rescue, but uh, if uh, Rasmus Jensen were to win his race, then it will come back to count back with a couple of wins. But we'll wait and see how that transpires. We've got three races to go before the semi-finals. Seem to be running out of riders at a rapid rate tonight. Yes. Depleted field here to this evening with uh, attritional conditions, which is somewhat of a surprise when you have such a, a lovely day. Here we go then. Just the two of them, and Bewley on the inside gate, looking good, but uh, young Mads Hansen has had a terrific night here, coming in as reserve, really has taken his opportunity very well indeed. He's going to have a semi-final at least, isn't he? He really is. Mm. So will we see a reserve rider make a final again? Wouldn't put it past him. No. It's, uh, it's 
come under pressure in his races, but he's uh, he's riding you know, really well. He's, he's not panicking, he's not getting out of anybody's way. No, he's not. Dan Bewley on the inside in the red helmet colour. No rider in gate number two. Matt Hansen at gate number three in white. And no rider off the outside. So a head-to-head -head here between Hansen and Bewley. Bewley the favourite. Two points a minimum if you complete the four laps, and that will do either of them more than adequate to make sure that they go through to the latter stages tonight. Bewley in sixth place in the World Championship, taking the opportunity tonight to uh, surge up the charts. Here we go then. Takes her up. Matt Hansen's there. Not quite. Dan Bewley making a nice run into the first corner. And Matt Hansen wide, coming up the inside, pushing on. Crikey, looking good once again, hugging the inside. Bewley's gone very, very wide. Matt Hansen's in front. Momentarily, Bewley just about getting his nose back to the front as they start the second lap. Took a chance, Bewley there, going very wide out of turn number four. But now, doesn't do the same. Middle of the track. Beginning to pull away. Dan Bewley, this is looking like another win for him. Yeah, he had to move out uh, when he made the pass back on Hanson. He ran into the corner so hard he had to elect to uh, run out to the dirt. Now he's being a little bit more conservative. He's riding around the middle of the track, edge of the dirt stuff. I don't think Mads Hanson, as much as well, he's, he's right tries, there. Yeah, he's right there, but I think Dan's got it covered. Down the back straight for the last time. Got to say, Mads Hanson giving it one last blast high and wide in terms three and four. You're right, Chris. Not quite going to get there. Beauty comes through in the end. But as hard as Hanson tried, just couldn't quite get himself to the front. But nonetheless, finishes with another second place. So moving along very nicely indeed. Three points for Dan Beauty. Matt Hanson a second place. And uh, Martin Veselik and Max Frick don't score because they were both excluded because they crashed in heat number 18. Jack Holder out in front on 12 points. Dan Bewley moving along nicely on to 11. Mickelson on 10. Leon Madsen on 10 with a race to come. He could leapfrog all of them, and as can uh, Robert Lambert. But Mads Hansen, a fine effort on 10 points from his five uh, rides tonight, and will be in the semi-finals. Great result for the 23-year-old from Denmark. Yeah, it's, uh, the last two riders standing in this one, but Dan Bewley rockets from the start around the inside and then decides he's going to ride high and wide. And we've seen Mads Hansen is pretty much stuck to the inside or mid-track, never wider than that in every race so far. And there, I think Dan just ran wide, but also broke traction as he was going across to the dirt line and uh, stuck with it, managed to get his nose back in front, had to run wide, had to go back out into the dirt. Look at the hole he's left there, though, for the charging Mads Hansen, who was uh, fair. He didn't go straight across to the fence. That probably would have ended in carnage with the speed that... Uh, Dan Bewley was generating, but uh, uh, Dan soon realised, I've got to go uh, a little bit tighter than that. Yes, and he did so.